Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So if you're new to the mud crab aquaculture sector, at some point in your farming career, you will probably have to grade, sort your crabs according to quality and sizes. So in this video, I'll be showing you what are the mud crab crating process and what's the difference between um, someone who's handled crabs for two weeks and someone who has handled it for about five years. So you can see here, I have one of my colleagues that has just joined the company for about two weeks and she's going through the grading process. So what she's trying to do is to get the crabs from the styrofoam box, grade them and sort them according to the meat quality. So the first step involves her picking a crab from the styrofoam box, right? And she tends to pick them up with the string to avoid getting pinched by the crabs. And she is now doing the grading process in which she is pressing onto the carapace and sorting them accordingly as meat crab or water crab. So this is how she gets the crabs out from the styrofoam box. Your styrofoam box can be packed quite well or the crabs could be just in a loose packaging just like this. So you can see that it might pose some difficulty in extracting out the crabs without getting hurt. And the crabs will also tend to get entangled up with other crabs. So this is the grading process where they tend to press on the second carapace. And this is this movement, this grading process is required to be performed on all the crabs that are going to the system. So we first pick out the crabs and sort them accordingly. So as you can see, handling is a big problem when you are sorting the crabs. Uh, one needs to be quite careful uh, to avoid injury. Although the crabs are tight, they can still manage to pinch you if your hands are in the wrong position. Usually if they flip over, uh, they, are not be, they are not able to pinch you if it's tight. So this is when we do the grading process. But you still need to take note they still have very sharp limbs that will tend to inflict a bit of uh, pain if you're holding on to them. So for crabs that do not have a very long uh, string, right? so this uh, poses a bit of a problem for those who are new to this industry. So this is me sorting out and grading the crabs. I've been doing this for about five years. So this is the difference between um, someone who's doing it for two years and five years. So obviously we try to pick the crabs that have a longer string because it's probably easier to handle. And grading can actually be done by just using my left hand. And we check both uh, sides of the crabs to make sure that it is meaty on each side. So one of the important things to note when the graders are grading, uh, it is possible for the crabs to climb up from the enclosure, just like you see over here. And you know, sometimes we have to take a pause to make sure that the crabs do not fall down from the basket because it will inflict an injury if it falls down from that kind of height. So a lot of time is involved in picking the right crabs to be handled and to be graded as well as you can see I'm doing. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoy and learn something at RS Aquaculture. Till then, see you again.